Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. What is a Kawanda screen? Well, I've got one oh, right here. It is a very specific type of screen that is basically going to slice water and pull it into the box while slothing off debris and things you don't want in your water system. So a Kawanda effect is when the water tends to stick to or adhere to a convex surface and that's what the screen is going to use to basically pull the water into the box with uh, the Kawanda effect. So Spencer Langston is a sponsor of my Land a House YouTube channel for Micro Hydro and that is what this box will be used for over there on that channel. But I thought I would do a little review of this product from Elgin. I uh, got this box for free because Spencer is selling them and uh, I'm his guinea pig basically. So uh, if you do need a box like this for your micro hydro system, go check out Langston Alternative Power, link down below. So what I wanna do with this box is basically go over its features and then we will take it outside and give it a really simple test. All right, let's take a look at the features of this Kawanda screen box. Ugh. It is made of eighth inch stainless steel, which is quite heavy and should last for 100 years or more. So the screen here on the front is where the majority of the work is going to take place. If you take your fingers and run it this way, the opposite direction of where the water will be pouring, it is quite smooth. If you run it the other way, it actually has uh, the screen pointed so that it is going to be uh, abrasive. So that's what is gonna cut the water to pull that water into the box. So it has some bolts down here that can be removed to access the inside if you need to do any kind of maintenance in there. And if you flip this up a little bit, oh, it's got a very smooth level surface here. And that's what's going to allow the water to gently pour over here and down onto this surface. If the water exceeds these fins up here, it will start to jump the screen and you won't be getting much water in here. So you want your water to be within this about two inch here that will flow into the box and pull this. This particular box here can pull well over 40 gallons a minute and that is exactly what I need for my system. So that is the basics right there. Now if we turn it up this direction, oh my, it's got four different places for attaching to your, uh, your dam, or in my case, it's going to be a rock wall. So it should be interesting to do that. And then if we flip it over to this end over here, there is a two inch coupling, just a rubber coupling, and that's where the water will go into your system that has been cleaned. Uh, so if for some reason this gets full of water, these holes will allow some air into the box and it will flush itself out. If we just turn this up to the bottom, nothing there. And the other side, all it has is ugh, just the Elgin logo there. Okay. The company Elgin actually makes very large intake boxes and screens for micro hydro and farm irrigation. We're talking thousands of gallons a minute versus this uh, 40 or 50. So uh, they have a huge range of different intakes. But Langston Alternative Power is selling this size, the 40, 50 gallons a minute, and also the one that's about uh, three times the size that will do over 200 gallons a minute. So definitely uh, check the description for that. Now, let's take this outside and do a very non-scientific proof of concept that will show you how this box can separate some debris from the uh, water. So let's go outside. These screens are designed to be installed level. And so I've put some rocks under here and it's pretty close in this direction. Still a bit leaning forward that way, but good enough for this test. So I've got about two gallons of water. Let's go ahead and toss some leaves in there. Maybe a handful of rocks. Uh, let's go ahead and put some dirt in there too. See how well that sloths off of there. Uh, let's see, so what else should we put in here? Hmm, I think that's pretty good. Maybe a few more leaves. I 
My kids love doing this. They call it soup. All right, so there's some really nasty water that you would anticipate to be coming down the creek. Now these boxes are meant to be mounted flush with the water source. And then these wings here would be your maximum height of that water. I won't be able to get this perfect because it's uh, coming from one spot and not spread out. But anyway, let's see how well it pulls the water here. It's pretty cool. Very little water was actually making it off to the end here, as you could tell. Almost all of it was being pulled right in to that. So, uh, I am seeing, of course, that the little stuff fell through as far as just the mud. But that water is definitely debris-free. Let's see if we can look in here and see what's left inside. I'm seeing the very fine slush down in there. Nothing uh, bigger than that, though. So, definitely separated everything quite well. And on the front, oh, this stuff here, looks like some of that might go in, but the majority of it slothed off there pretty good. And of course, you wouldn't anticipate your water to be that nasty all the time. Let's flush it again with clean water and see how well it takes all that stuff off of there. I've got two inches of water here in this bucket, which means every second, this Kawanda screen could handle this uh, amount of water all the time. <laughs> anyway, that's fun stuff. Okay, that test was very simple and just proves that it does pull water into the box and sloths off debris. If you want to see this in full action, make sure you subscribe to the Land House YouTube channel. Link in the description down below. I will be doing an install of this and lots of testing over the coming months and years. So definitely uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. If you want to pick one of these up, links in the description down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.